the classical world, you define objects and their position and space and their motion and their momentum. Everything is very clear and it moves according to these laws. And the quantum mechanical level, you have probabilities. Things suddenly start becoming, sitting everywhere and moving everywhere. They are entangled, they are connected. Everything is connected with everything else. Every molecule, every particle that moves in one way has a corresponding particle moving in the other way somewhere in the universe and because everything is entangled and therefore everything is actually interconnected. That takes us to a very different understanding of the world and the universe and reality. Now we go, all of these entangled are actually nothing but the unified field and in fact, there is nothing but the unified field. In fact, there is nothing but pure consciousness, which means we are all living in an illusion, which means it's only a perception, it's only a maya, that takes us into a huge consideration. What we want is a knowledge that puts all of this together. And that's what we have, really, and the total knowledge of Vedic knowledge, ultimately, which allows us to bridge all these differences, whereby... All religions can be true in themselves. At the same time, all science can be true in itself, which means there is duality and there is non-duality. There is monism and pluralism. Uh, there is materialism, physicalism, and there is spirituality. <laughs> there is, uh, you know, and then the, te the, the technical terms start becoming very complex. And uh, there is a way, actually, and this is contributed by, through the analysis of Veda in Vedic, physiology, in, uh, in Vedic literature and human physiology, Ramayana and physiology, they actually give us an indication and a guidance of how to resolve these conflicting understandings and what I would call points of view of reality and points of view of the universe. But this is something I like to keep as a, <laughs> you know, the resolution of this will require a much longer explanation because it gets us into freedom and choice, into uh, determinism, into, you know, supervenience, physicalism, and all of that, which means, you know, is the body the source of consciousness? Um, you can say, of course, because if you damage some part of the brain, you lose consciousness. But that takes us through another consideration.